welcome back to another episode of On a Mission. I'm your host, Dr. Wendy Norfleet with Norfleet Integrated Solutions, and it is my pleasure to have with me today Troy Pepito with Genuine Spirit Company. Welcome, Troy. Thanks, Wendy. Pleasure. So, Troy, for anyone who's not familiar with this, what is Genuine Spirit Company? So, Genuine Spirit Company <laughs> is we actually own uh, a brand called April One Bourbon Whiskey. We mm -hmm. also do some importing and we do some broker stuff on the um, adult beverage side of things. Okay. So, are you a physical location? Are you a distributor? Tell me a little bit about. So, no, we're a supplier manufacturer. We have uh, we don't have a location. We okay. actually work with a partner distillery out of Colorado. Mm -hmm. It's a veteran owned, and they actually house all our barrels, all our glass. So, it's a complete hands off operation for me. It's they do all the heavy lifting. I do all the paperwork okay and some of the sales and the sales okay. mostly a lot of sales a lot of sales. sales and marketing yeah okay for sure. so your bourbon is your is your baby right correct bourbon whiskey is your baby bourbon whiskey is my baby so do you have like just one i know that sometimes that people have a reserve i don't know a lot about whiskey i'll tell you what a little bit i know <laughs> but reserves and correct. they have some that are different levels and age differently correct i do yeah. know that so you have different we don't have different we have one so we're brand new we've okay. only started six months ago we launched oh wow the brand congratulations on thank you so much yeah we launched the brand on april 1st of this year uh so we created a small batch bourbon which means we take a small batch of bourbon barrels mm -hmm. and we blend them together and we take it down to 101 proof because okay. when it comes out of the barrel it's like 120 proof okay so it's pretty hot stuff so and we do that and then we're working on future innovation so hopefully we'll create our uh, product line down the road. Okay. And so I know you said this is pretty hands off as far as the location, but you are in this area. In the community. In cool. the so community. in Jacksonville, I help support, uh, we're with, I'm working with an organization right now called Project Help, and mm -hmm. we're doing a festival uh, called Vet Fest on mm -hmm. Veterans Day to help raise money for them. And they are a support system for transitioning service members that need financial help. Okay. And first of all, it's a great cause. Um, did you serve? I did. 20 okay. years. Thank you for your service. Retired here in Jackson. My husband's, uh, um, it was Navy. Okay. So um, tell me a little bit about that project. And, you know, I know it's to give back to the community is raising funds. Are you doing tasting? How do you, how are you helping with that? Yeah. So uh, the Vet Festival is we're having a bunch of vendors come out. Uh, we're going to have a festival is really what we're okay. doing. A bunch of veterans coming out. Uh, we're going to raise money. We're going to have a uh, nice whiskey bottles we're going to auction off oh. uh we're going to have an art gallery we're putting together hopefully we could get that we kind of have some things going on with that but uh some entertainment and people can come out and either donate or go through the auctions we'll have silent auctions and things like that to help raise money for them okay great so how are you finding are you native of jacksonville i'm not native jacksonville okay. i'm native florida but gulf coast i grew up okay. in crystal river so this area is kind of newer to you too uh, i've been here for four years okay that's so. still new yeah i've been 15 and people say finally say okay you, you kind of belong <laughs> yeah when i was growing up jacksonville was very out in the out in the cut right <laughs> so yeah. it was definitely a way station i i went to um I listened to one of the historians tell you about Jacksonville and how it used to be like the way station. Mm -hmm. And so some of the attitude here, you can kind of, it's understandable because a lot of people didn't stay. And so mm -hmm. people here have a tendency to kind of wait back and see if you're going to stick it out. Yeah, that's why I thought I was in station you. here. Yeah. I was like, I don't know, but I got here and I love it. Jacksonville's awesome. It's a fantastic town. It's way better than what people describe it. Well, I'm really happy that you're here. Um, wish you all the best in that. And so, um, why don't you tell us one more time when this event is so we can make sure that you get people out there. Yeah, the event uh, kicks off November 11th. Mm -hmm. uh, we're selling tickets. So there's general and VIP admission. So you can go to warriorsandwhiskey.com mm -hmm. uh, to purchase your tickets or you can go to the Project Help uh, website and scroll down and there's also a link. Okay, and I'm assuming there. it's projecthelp.org. I believe so. Okay, and where is it? Uh, where Fleming it is? Island. Okay. It's gonna be at Corks and Barrel. Okay. Excuse me. I was like, you tell us where it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, Fleming Island at Corks and Barrel. Okay. They have also a veteran owned facility. So everything is veteran owned centric and like everybody's coming in to help. Okay. Well, I wish you all the best with um, the Genuine Spirit Company and this event for the veterans, which is great. And so thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks, Wendy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time on Buzz TV. Mm -hmm.